Hi everyone, it's Friday. We know what Friday means. Friday means it's time for story time at the Graves Library. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's put those hands up. Let's put those hands together. Let's put those hands up high. Let's cross those hands. And now let's put those hands over our knees. And let's get ready to sing our song. And please sing it with me. It's, it's kind of hard for me to sing all by myself. So I, I want to know that you're all out there singing with me, okay? So here we go. One, two, three. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together at Graves Library with Miss Terry, Mr. Bear, and... Okay, I'm happy now. I see some of my friends out there. And if I look really hard, I see more of my friends out there, which is awesome. So, here we are together at Graves Library today. I'm going to read a story about George. George is a dog. Let's look at George's face. Can't really tell tell what George is thinking right now, can we? Can't tell if George is happy or sad. It's hard to tell. Oh No George by Chris Houghton. And a shout out to Candlewick Press for letting us read this story today. Harry's going out. Will you be good, George? Asks Harry. Yes, says George. I'll be very good. I hope I'll be good, George thinks. George sees something in the kitchen. It's cake. I said, I'll be good, George thinks, but I love cake. What will George do? What do you guys think? What do you think? Hmm. I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. This is where I'm going to need your help, guys. Can you all help me? We're going to go, oh no, George. You ready? Oh no, George. What did George do? George ate the cake. What has George seen now? Look at George's face. Looks like he sees something. It's cat. I said I'd be good. George thinks, but I love to play with cat. What do you guys think? How does the cat look? Does the cat look like the cat wants to play with George? What will George do? Okay, what do you guys think? What do you think? Okay, remember those words? Oh no, George. Oh no, George. What has George seen now? Some what? What has George seen now? Uh oh. Some lovely dirt. I said I'd be good, George thinks, but I love to dig in dirt. Oh, loves to dig in dirt. What will George do? What do you think? Yep. I'm with you. Get ready. Oh no, George. Ready? Oh no, George. Hmm. 
Harry is back. Hello, Harry. Great to see you. George, what have you done? You've ruined the place. And how on earth did you eat a whole cake? I said I'd be good, George thinks. I hoped I'd be good, but I wasn't. Oh no, what will George do? What will George do? What could George do? He was naughty, what could he do? What do you guys think? If you're ever naughty, you get into trouble. What, what could you do to make it better? Think about it. I'm sorry, George says. I want to give you my favorite toy. Thank you, George, says Harry. Why don't we go out for a nice walk? Great! George loves to go out. There's so many things to see and do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. George has seen a cake. Will he eat it? Oh no, will he eat it, you guys? Nope. George goes straight past. Well done, George. Let's say it. Well done, George. Uh-oh. George sees some lovely dirt. Will he have a little dig? Nope. What can we say, guys? Well done, George. George doesn't even try to chase Cat. Even Cat is a bit surprised. Something smells very interesting. Take a big sniff. Oh, it's a trash can. Mmm, trash cans smell awfully good to dogs. It's make, there's nothing George likes more and digging in the trash. Oh God, what will George do? This is a tough one, what do you guys think? He's been so good. Uh-oh, it's hard to tell. See that face, George? All right, so what do you guys think? Is George gonna dig in the trash or is George gonna be good? What do you think? Hmm, what's your opinion? That little face, I don't know. And that's the end of the story. So we'll have to use our imagination as to what George does. I'm gonna go with that George didn't dig in the trash. That he liked, he liked it when his owner said, well done, George. But you can have your own guess. It's hard to tell. The author didn't tell us. All right. So let's move to one more story. And this story is called See the Cat. It's three stories about a dog. So let's read one of these stories today. And the dog saying, wait a minute. It's by David LaRoche, La Rochelle, excuse me. And Candlewick Press again, thank you so much. Story number one. See the cat. See the cat. I am not a cat. I am a dog. See the blue cat. I am not blue and I am not a cat. The blue cat is in a green dress. I do not have a green dress. The cat's name is Baby Cakes. That is not my name. My name is Max. See 
the blue cat in a green dress riding a pink unicorn. There is no cat. There is no dress. There is no unicorn. There is just me, Max the dog. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's that? What's that? Kind of looks like a unicorn. Oh no, wait a minute. What's that? What color's the cat? What's this thing? Hmm. <gasps> oh. See the red dog. I am so embarrassed. See, he was red because he was kind of blushing because he was embarrassed. Should we read one more? Story number two? I, I can't help it. Can I read one more? Okay. Story number two. See the snake. See the snake. Here we go again. The snake is under the dog. Yikes! The snake is mad. Shoo, 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 shoo. The snake is very mad. Help! The mad snake is going to bite the dog. Wait! The mad snake is going to bite the dog. Wait, what's he got in his hand? That looks like a pencil. Oh, he added a word. What word could he add? The mad snake is going to bite the dog. What is a word he could add? Aha! The mad snake is not about to bite the dog. See the happy dog wag his tail. Phew! That was close. And I'm going to end there. But there is a story number three called see the dog. So you might want to check this book out from the Graves Library so you can find out the third story about a dog. All right. So guys, I put out a craft kit on Monday and hopefully you picked it up. And as you can see from your craft kit, it's a dog face. The eyes have been cut out. And I want you to color the dog face. And then you'll see there's a stick. You will attach the face to the stick and then put the little dog paws on the stick and you will have a dog mask. All right? Does that sound like fun? I'd love to see you guys when you get these all colored up. I'd love to see what they look like. I'm sure you're all very talented and very crafty. All right? So now it's that sad time when we have to say our goodbye song. So let me just grab the words. We're going to sing our goodbye song. Get those hands ready. One, two, three. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eye. Try to wink the other one. It's harder. I have one eye I wink better than the other. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me this Friday. I look forward to seeing you guys every Friday. So until then, be kind, be safe, and keep reading, okay? All right, so we'll see you guys next Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.